Good morning. It is Sunday, October 3rd, and this morning we are reading from the devotional uh, from Henri Nguyen, You Are the Beloved, and this one's entitled Claim Your Truth. It seems crucial that you realize deeply that your worth and value does not depend on anyone else. You have to claim your own inner truth. You are a person worth of being loved and called to give love, not because anyone says so but because you are created out of love and live in the embrace of a God who didn't hesitate to send his only son to die for us. Your being good and worthy does not, of love does not depend on any human being. You have to keep saying to yourself, I am being loved by an unconditional, unlimited love that love allows me to be a free person, center of my own actions and decisions. The more you can come to realize this, the more you will be able to forgive those who have hurt you and love them in their brokenness. Without a deep feeling of self-respect, you cannot forgive and will always feel anger, resentment, and revenge. The greatest human act is forgiveness. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who have sinned against us. Forgiveness stands in the center of God's love for us and also in the center of our love for each other. Loving one another means forgiving one another over and over and over again. <clears throat> the thing that resonates with me is, is um, his first point, um, that we realize that our worth and love is not, our value doesn't depend on anyone else. So often we, we look to someone else to affirm us, to give us a sense of being a purpose <clears throat> I always think about um, John Maxwell. Um, he teaches about leadership, and he was a pastor for a bit. But I don't never understand his phrase about you know adding value to people. Um, I can add value to people, and I keep thinking, uh, isn't God the one who gives us value? And maybe I don't understand it quite enough, but I just consider that and. I think, is that something we feel like we do? We add value to people? I mean, maybe, maybe that means uh, uh, teaching or guiding it in a new way that make, helps them grow. Maybe that's it. Or, 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 or having them teach a new skill set so they're better at their job or, or whatever. But I think too much of the time is spent, you know, we don't know who we are a lot of times. We, uh, our self-esteem self-worth like you said is so, so wound up in, in what the world thinks of us and um, that's hard that's hard it's hard to get both ways I think it's hard to to get the criticism for doing negative things but I also think it's hard to when people praise you then you you soak that all in and then you depend on that praise and and pretty soon the praise is gone too many actors have heard that you know they're superstars one day and and the next day they won't they're not allowed in the gate to get into the, um, uh, what, what have you. Uh, anyway, they, they can't get into the film anymore. They, they can't get into the, the parking lot. They can't get in because it changes from day to day. Um, and so, you know, it's, it, it's tough. But I think what he's saying too is um, for us to realize that that we're God's first and foremost. God created us. And God was there before we were even born. Like he tells Jeremiah, you know, I was there before you were even formed in your mother's womb. And um, it has a lot to say. It has a lot to say. Um, we depend on that. Um, I hope we can learn to depend on that. That God is there for us. Like you said, the love that never ends. Yeah, the forgiveness that never ends. That kind of thing. And for us to take heart and uh, he's saying forgive those who you've hurt and work on accepting uh, the forgiveness of others and so that's that's some good stuff to think about um, that we are gods and our work doesn't depend on uh, people's perceptions um, let us pray gracious and loving God 
you are the one who created us. You are the one who gives us life and purpose and breath. You are the one who loves us unconditionally. Help us continue in, in your care. And help us realize this, uh, that we are yours. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, until Tuesday, peace.